Hi everyone, nice to chat with you this weekend. So in chess, everyone loses at some point. But what do you do about it? Do you give up? Are you a person that is so afraid of losing that you are not willing to take the risk of playing a game? How do you get to be a strong player and overcome? You know, sometimes I tell players who are new to chess, I have lost more games than you've ever played. Well, let's talk about this a little bit because this is a critical life skill if you're going to succeed. You're going to need the skill of perseverance. You're going to need to be an overcomer because life doesn't play fair. You will often run into situations where you're in a situation of losing. Now here at Chess for Life, what we teach students is something a little bit different. It starts with this. You can win in chess, you can draw in chess, and what else can you do? Most people say lose, but we change it here at Chess for Life to you can win, you can draw, and you can learn. Why that little difference? Because it is an attitude. If your attitude in any situation, even if it's not a good one, where you feel you've lost, is what can I learn from this situation, then you are on the path to increasing your knowledge, your skill, and therefore becoming better. You are making progress. I want to tell you a story here. One time, close to the year 2000, I was playing in the Washington Championships. As a junior player under age 21, I had won the closed championships, and that seeded me into the premier section of the Washington State Championships. There are only 10 players in this. It's a round robin, which means everybody plays everybody. That means there are nine games. In this tournament, there were many strong players ahead of me. I went into this tournament excited to be there and also a bit nervous, as you can imagine, playing at that high level. I was not at that time a master yet. So what happened? It was tournament was played over two weekends, four games the first weekend, five games the next weekend. Entered the tournament, fought hard, and guess what? I lost game after game after game. Till I lost my first four games every single game I played that first weekend. Can you imagine as a young person going back home having lost all four games, devastated about your results so far, knowing that your next five games are going to be just as hard, if not harder, because you're playing everybody and they're all high-level players. Feel like quitting, right? So did I. But what was my response? I came back in for round number five the following week, and I went as if it was my first game of the first tournament. And I said, I'm going to do my absolute best. Put the losses behind me. Do my best. I got a draw. I tied the game. Now, what's the best result I could have is 50% score if I win my last four games. I took each game one at a time, one move at a time, doing my best every single move. And I actually won all my last four games. That, to me, was a huge overcoming from a start that was really rather devastating. Now, how did I have the ability to do that? It was because I had already learned a skill. And that skill was simply this. In every game I play, my goal is not, is of course to win the game, but my attitude is what can I learn from every single game I play? If I win, I seek to learn something. If I draw, I seek to learn something. I study the opening, the middle game, the end game. I review it afterwards. And if I lose, I usually learn the most. And that is the attitude I have applied since I started playing in tournaments at age eight. That is what gave me the ability to go into that championships and put the losses behind me, focus hard on the next game. And after the tournament was over, I studied every one of those games from the losses to the draw to the win and I learned even more. So you see, it is really about attitude. If you face life and go, if I get something bad, I'm gonna run away. Where are you gonna end up in life? You're gonna go from job to job, running away from what gets hard. But if you apply this skill of perseverance 
and learning from situations, you have the resilience that it takes to be a success in life.